Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, August the 6th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, thanks for tuning in this morning. And it looks like we do have a fairly good chance for showers and thunderstorms. In the meantime, the tropics remain somewhat quiet as Emily continues, or the remnants of Emily, continues to struggle. Tuscaloosa Skycam shot this morning, and you can see the sun rising over there on the kind of the right side of the picture, but we do have some clouds, a lot of clouds left over from the rain that we saw yesterday. Going north a little bit, there's a nice shot of the rather tranquil and placid and flat river at Decatur, the Tennessee River. And then let's go down to the Gulf of Mexico and there's a shot from Dauphin Island. Sure enjoyed being down there just a couple of months ago and uh, some clouds down there as well. Clouds as a result of uh, this uh, boundary that's been to our north seems to have sagged a little bit according to the analysis. You can see Emily over there just to the uh, southeast of the southern tip of Florida. And then in the meantime, uh, most of the traveling weather systems well to our north as the ridge continues to hold very strong. The ridge finally beginning to show signs of at least some uh, flattening and also retrograding or moving back to the west. And the result is that we should be seeing a slight downward trend in temperatures and a continued increase or a continued uh, chance for showers and thunderstorms each day. Heat still the big news across the country. As a matter of fact, notice that the golden colors uh, extend all the way to the Great Lakes, covering all the southeastern U.S., and then, of course, those orange colors over in Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, right under the ridge, they're quite warm. Temperatures across central Alabama this morning, generally in the mid, lower and mid-70s, let's say. I'm sure we probably have a couple of spots that might be approaching 69 the upper 60s but uh, definitely a warm morning and humid as well with um, those morning humidities up between about 96 and 100 percent qpf still uh, showing the main uh, area for rain across the central part of the country extending from new england down across the ohio river valley and then back into the mid uh, uh, the midwest and you can see zero over uh, texas uh, as a result of the ridge there and then of course a little bit of tropical moisture that might be affecting South Florida as a result of the remnants of Emily. Because of the ridge there's nothing being forecast across Texas but you can see that further north there's a slight risk of severe thunderstorms. Uh, not Still not terribly uh, a lot of uh, organized severe weather but that severe weather threat for day two stays well to our north. Emily still a shadow, or the remnants of Emily still a shadow of what Emily uh, was, although Emily never really got her act together real well. That's the IR picture. And still, uh, everything seems to be indicating that while it will come very close to Florida, uh, the, the uh, circulation and the system is likely to recurve and not be a big threat to the U.S., but Emily is expected, or the remnants are expected, to become uh, better organized over the next 24 to 48 hours. The morning uh, 06 ZGFS model run, and, and we've still got these little weak disturbances. You can see over South Alabama, you can see those little uh, numbers there indicating some, some weak uh, vorticity. We've got the 594 contour, but it is migrating to the west, or retrograding, as we say, by uh, Sunday. The 594 contour gone, the ridge uh, still there, but much flatter, uh, which is what you know we've been suggesting now for a while. The ridge still flat on Monday, but notice the little traveling weather systems are finally beginning to hint at a little bit of troughiness on the uh, eastern half of the country, and then that shows up a lot better by Tuesday. So this, uh, this bodes well for us to continue in a pattern where temperatures will drop a little bit, not, you know, we're not going to get into the 80s or anything like that, unless we have one of those unusual days with a lot of clouds and some rain in the morning, but uh, like we had a couple of days ago. But this uh, certainly means that we, we should be avoiding any extreme heat. Wednesday, the troughing is still there. We've got these little traveling weather systems. Of course, we'll have to be watching those little, those little disturbances that are moving through the uh, generally 
uh, northwest uh, to uh, west southeast flow or east southeast flow. We're going to have to be watching those because they could produce an MCS that might affect us. Uh, we stay that way on Thursday, again, keeping us with a chance for showers pretty much each day and keeping temperatures uh, from being anything extreme. Notice now we're beginning to get a huge system um, just south of Alaska up there. That's going to pump up the ridge, and you really see that pumping up the ridge on Saturday, a week from today, pumping up the ridge, and that's also helping to enhance the troughiness over the eastern half of the country. Uh, the GFS has also been showing uh, kind of a weakness over the uh, uh, southeastern U.S. with, uh, again, enhanced chances for showers and thunderstorms. Extending the forecast out into voodoo country, and uh, boy, I sure, <laughs> I've said this many times this summer, I like the looks of this, but none of this has really, really happened. But with what's been happening now across uh, the extreme west and south of uh, Alaska there, we might actually, this might be a real possibility for us to see this wonderful trough uh, come in from the Great Lakes extending down, basically kind of oriented along the Mississippi River, and that would be wonderful because that would certainly cool us off quite a bit and also keep our chances for rain pretty high, which we can always use. And then finally, as we get back uh, into the ridge, we see the ridge building back across the area, but there continues to be a weakness over... Um, well, kind of extending from the Great Lakes down into Alabama, and so that would keep us with enhanced chances for showers and thunderstorms. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted around 7.30 or 8 tomorrow morning. In the meantime, that I hope that you have a wonderful day and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.